From VTV Channel 6 Studios in downtown Vernal, this is Local Point with your host, Chris Piner. Welcome to Local Point, brought to you by Strata Networks. I'm your host, Chris Piner. On today's show, we are joined by Father Manny and Dane Christiansen, and we're going to be talking about the St. James Winter Games. Is that the official title? That's the official title that we have for the Winter Games. Well, Father Manny, tell us just briefly, for anybody who might not know, what the Winter Games is all about. Well, it's a so social event uh, that started over 50 years ago in the whole of St. James Catholic Church. There is on 100 West and 100 North. And the purpose of this event was to help uh, the poor people in the community, regardless of their faith, race, or any background. Right. Uh, it's, it's a kind of a big bingo night that is held at the church, not only for the people in the Catholic Church, but for the whole for community. For the whole community. Yes, and the whole profit, all the profits of the event uh, is entitled for the poor people in the community. Right, and that's for all of your your charitable efforts for the whole year. Yes, uh, at the church we get a lot of people uh, that come asking for help uh, with rent, with uh, gas to pay for a hotel room, yeah. uh, especially now that winter is coming, so utility bills go high. Yes. So we get a lot of people coming and asking yeah. for help and we always assist them. As I said before, we do not ask uh, where they're coming from. We're right. just uh, doing uh, what the Lord told us to do, yeah. to help, to love, and to protect. Father Manny, I had the opportunity to go to the Winter Games a number of years ago, and uh, that was, well, the, the, the night is fun. It's games yeah. and, and laughter and socializing, but uh, it was very clear that under, underlying all of this, this is, this is mm -hmm. to bring in money for charity mm -hmm. and to do charitable efforts for the whole year. Mm -hmm. So that, that really is important, I think, that, uh, that everybody knows that. Um, so uh, you said it's a bingo night. Yes. <laughs> and, and speaking of that, uh, let me share my experience. I'm kind of a new pastor for the church. And last year was my first event. So I show up after I finish uh, the Saturday night service. It was hard for me to find a parking place, just to begin <laughs> with. And when I enter uh, Western Park, that is where we have this event uh, now. The place was packed. It was full. So I can tell you that it was over a thousand people. And, and I had to be there because I had to do the opening prayer for the event. Yes, yes. So people were waiting for me. And that was pretty impressive. I mean, to see people from different uh, churches, people from other towns. Uh, so excited about this event and, and the people that I had an opportunity to speak with share that they have been coming for years, that they always mark their right. calendars in advance. For the winter games. For the winter <laughs> games because they get to see friends and the most important, they have fun and they get to help people in, in need. What better way to help uh, people than to have fun while you're helping? Yeah. And uh, Dane, you're a, you're a volunteer yes. at the event, mm -hmm. and we mentioned, Father Manny said, over 50 years, this yes. one's been going on here in our community. What can you tell me about the, the, the history of this thing? Um, it has been <laughs> uh, such a long time, it was, it was pretty hard to f try to find out the exact date right. that it started. Mm -hmm. um, there's uh, some older people in, in the parish that uh, say they've been here for for years and that it's as long as they can remember that it's been going on and like Father Manny said um, it began in the uh, social hall of the church which is in the basement and it outgrew that pretty pretty quick um, so that's why the uh, venue was changed to Western Park and it um, sounds like now with uh, uh, limited parking you might need a bigger place or you might have to just do more of these I yeah. suggested the spring <laughs> games, the summer games. The We've been asked about <laughs> it uh, to have it uh, twice a year, but it implies a lot of work. And, um, yes. At St. James, we still are a small community, so sure. it's a lot of work. And, and we need to keep in mind that it's our brothers and sisters who volunteer after they done with their jobs, they go to the church and donate their, their time, time and, and effort and money effort. to do this. Yeah. And maybe, uh, Dane, you could talk a little bit about that. You're, uh, there are prizes to be had 
at the uh, at the event. Mm -hmm. How do you get these prizes? Who's who? Who is putting all this together? These volunteers. Yeah, there there's other volunteers that will go around asking for donations. Um, there is uh, many businesses that have donated year after year. Um, there is private parties that donate that uh, mainly wouldn't want to be uh, mentioned mentioned or whatever. Right? Yes. Um, um, but it, it usually is a good turnout, and there's lots of good prizes. Um, you know, I've seen things from, you know, bikes and game consoles and, and everything like that. The community uh, has been involved, you know, and, and they must have if it's been going for more than 50 years. So and there's one thing I know about this community, uh, and, and really the entire Uinta Basin, all of the communities in the Uinta Basin are so unique that way mm -hmm. uh, in giving and helping and coming together. Uh, I, I think you'd be hard pressed to find a more giving uh, part of the of the world than right here in the Uinta Basin, and this is just a good example of it. The Winter Games. Mm -hmm. So just uh, uh, quickly, and then we're going to talk a little bit more about the event itself. Uh, Father Manny, will you just uh, tell me again the date and the place and yes. the time, all the details? It is going to be at the Western Park on November 9th at 7 p.m. And I also advise the community that is planning on attending the event to come early to, come to early. find a parking place. Yes, because yes. people will show up at 5 o'clock trying to get the best tables. All right. Very good. Well, we're going to talk a little bit more about that event in just a moment. We'll be right back after this message from our sponsor, Strata Networks. Strata Networks is proud to bring the first true 4G LTE network to the Uinta Basin. 4G LTE is the most powerful mobile broadband available anywhere in the world. With speeds up to 10 times faster than 3G, you can stay connected like never before. Video chat without delay. Stream HD TV or movies in an instant and download or upload in seconds. For details, visit us in Roosevelt or Vernal or call 622-5007. More speed, more power. 4G LTE, only from Strata Networks. Welcome back to Local Point. We're talking about the St. James Winter Games, and I'm visited here with uh, Father Manny and Dane Christiansen. So it's good to have uh, both of you back. We've been talking a little bit about the history of the, the Winter Games, and you both mentioned that this has been going on for quite a long time, over 50, 50 years. years. Yes. That's just yeah. um, so amazing to me. But as long as I can remember, and I've been in the community for a long time, I've seen the Winter Games. So uh, winter is approaching. Is there any reason by uh, chance that it is the Winter Games? Do you know? Is that just the tradition of 50 years? Or is there a reason for it? Well, first because of the time when we have it. And it's been the tradition in the church to call it uh, Winter Games. Yes. OK. Yeah, which, like I was explaining a little bit earlier, was uh, that usually it just seems like at that time, at this time of the year, it is a good time for people to remember to be giving. Mm -hmm. um, it is around the holidays. There you go. Um, there's, yeah. there's other uh, public types. We're not necessarily bringing on the winter or anything. It's mm -hmm. not officially yeah. winter yet here. And, <laughs> and hopefully if it comes early, it's not our fault. <laughs> That's right. We won't, we won't put any blame on anybody. Yes. Well, uh, yeah, well, I wondered about that, where it was, where it's been for so long. And there are needs that do happen in the winter. Specifically, you were telling me a little bit off camera about winter jackets. Yeah, that's uh, another ministry that we have in the church. Uh, people will come uh, and because we have a rough winter here, and we have poor people too. They come and ask for a jacket. Right. So we always have jackets available for the people, so uh, they can come in time, and we will we'll find one that will feed them. You're always up to good. Mm. That's wonderful. Let's talk a little bit about the Winter Games. What happens when when uh, a person does get there? Um, what do they do? What happens? Well, like we were saying, you want to come early. Um, it starts November 9th at 7 o'clock p.m. Um, and at the Western Park, at I the think Western we mentioned. Park, yes. Yeah. Um, and not just to find a parking space, but there is going to be a line before you get in. Um, so people want to secure their, 
uh, bingo cards, a so, good seat. So you're now, by securing bingo cards, you mean you buy? They're reusable uh, cards. Right. That uh, There's only so many that can be handed out at one time. Right, right. Yes. Now, uh, what, does it, uh, what would it cost me to get a bingo card? Um, yeah, I... There is a cost. You're not sure what the cost is, but <laughs> there is a cost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I don't I have that information. I don't mean to throw you on that <laughs> yeah. one. But it does cost. That's my point. And this is how you're raising money yes. for the charity. Uh, and, and when I went last time, some people get more than one, right? I mean, there are uh, some that people that had them all laid some out. Some of them have like three or four cars at the same time. Professionals. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I could only handle one at a time for me. Yeah. yeah. All yeah. right. So then uh, the rest of it is very traditional bingo. Mm -hmm. There's a, yes. uh, some kind of a, uh, a tumbler and uh, marked balls, then they pull them out and they're called and you mark your card. Correct? Yes, yes that's yes. correct. That's what yeah. Now, as I recall, it was, uh, uh, there, were, there were a lot of fun little rhymes and games and people shouting uh, different things and they, they really made it a lot of fun. But there are more ways to win in, just, uh, in terms of just getting the five mm -hmm. in a row, aren't there? Yes, there's some yeah. random drawings that are, are done periodically through the, right. through the event. Um, yeah. And uh, like I say, there's, there's pretty good prizes to, to be able to try to win. You can't forget the prizes, yes, too. That yes. makes it a lot of fun. So someone wins, and then they, they get prizes. Mm -hmm. And these are prizes that are donated from people yeah, in all the All of community. them are donated. Some of them are bought by the church. Right. But most of the prizes are donated by businesses and by some uh, members of our community, too. Yeah, right. and if there's uh, money that's donated, the church will go shopping with that money to bu also purchase more prizes. Ah, um, very good. Events too. Uh, it's going to happen at least next year again. Mm -hmm. Now you're always up to other things. We know about the uh, uh, the poster I always see in the community with the child and the spaghetti bowl on the head. That's the spaghetti dinner. Spaghetti yeah, dinner, yes. dinner, the annual dinner. Mm -hmm. And that will be coming up it's as com well. It's coming soon, yes. It's going to be before the end of this year. Uh, but we don't have the exact date. We'll so just look for that, that yeah. iconic poster that we're all yep. familiar with. Usually right. out there right <laughs> on the corner on Highway 40. And that's right. You know that's it's right. time. Well, very good. Well, we appreciate all of the things that you're up to and, uh, and the good that you do and the role that, uh, that you play in this community. And with two years, this is your second Winter Games now, This Father is my Manny. second, yeah, so uh, I'm not new anymore. So, so I know you what know, to expect So you know now. to get there early to get that parking <laughs> space. <laughs> yes. Actually, this year I decided to uh, move the, uh, the service. Yes. Uh, an hour earlier so that I can go there. So that you can get there yes, on time? Yes. Yeah, Do you actually play as well? Do you play bingo? Last year I got to see it once. I don't know how to play bingo. Last year was my first time, so. Oh, it was? I was lost. I had people <laughs> helping me. <laughs> uh, actually, the person that I was sitting next to had like three or four cars. Yes. And that person was still able to help me because I was lost. <laughs> <laughs> and when I went, there were families, there are people of all event. ages. Yes, yes. I think that's another good thing to mention. Yeah. I have to admit, when I first was invited with a friend to go, I was expecting a different age bracket, an older age bracket. But it's everybody. Oh, it so is. many yes, people it there. It was just fun. Yeah. What a great Yes, and, and as soon as you enter the place, you feel the spirit of happiness. I That's mean, right. Family sharing together, family that get to see each other on that night, that they travel from different towns, from different cities. It's kind of the family night for them. But we thank you both for coming. Once again, this is November 9th. This is a Saturday. PM. Saturday, November 9th at 7 o'clock p.m. at yes. the Western Park. Bring a little money with you, too. Yeah. It is a charitable event. And don't forget, there will be uh, refreshments. Oh, there there's food, food and refreshments. Yep. That's right. Mm -hmm. Forgot to mention that. Yep. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. a big draw in and of itself. Yes. And the spaghetti yeah. dinner is coming up as well. Mm -hmm. Thanks again for, okay. for thank coming you. with us. Thank and thank you for watching today's show. That's all for now. Please join us next time right here on VTV Channel 6. Mm -hmm.